Hello guys, Kelly here from Kel's Aquarium. So we're having a quick look at this Paladarium Lark. Because uh, it's been a while. I'm just going uh, to zoom in there. So there's some living things in here. Look at them. Backpedalling. I've got a little dish in there with some food in. A bit of Shrimp King, King stuff. I use uh, Yummy Gum and the Shrimp King Complete. I've got protein. I've got all the stuff. I'm going to move over here a bit because there is more action. Look, the shrimp all over. Look at him surfing that, that piece of uh, action. Oh, he's gone. But yeah, and there's some further back and there's, there's stuff all over. But as for changes, oh, sorry, I've got bloody radiator right in the way. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I've got shrimp all over. I've added some uh, katapa leaves. I have, they've been in for ages, to be fair. Um, not long after I did the last videos. Same with, I've got some chola wood. Because I had loads of it from last time I did shrimps. But what I've changed... so I've got another shrimp over there. Meow. Uh, oh. I'm going to swallow about. But yeah, the reason I'm on handheld cam, because I know some people don't like how fast I move, it blows the caps. But I need to move about quite a lot because I've done a lot of stuff. So the wood at the top, there's a little extra light there. It's a little daylight bulb, about eight quid. It's just because I've added some terrestrial plants or some marginals, some rushes. Horsehair rush, I think it's called. Um, and they're just out the, they're just underneath a bit of wood, so I just needed a bit of extra light coming in from a different angle just to get them. But I was going to go over there, but we just keep, I just keep getting caught up with loads of shrimps everywhere. Oh, look, and as soon as I start looking at them, they've gone. <laughs> ooh, ooh, he's going to go in here. You son of a bitch. I don't know, it's coming this way. But anyway, yeah, so the shrimps all over. Uh, I'm going up and over. So what I've done, there's some Devil's Ivy in Porthos, this stuff. Well, it's just there. It started growing roots. If you cut it sort of below, there's sort of an eye on it, if you know what I mean, and you just cut it below where you can see like a little black, uh, brown nodule, sling it in the water, it'll start growing roots and stuff. I have got some cushion moss, which is terrestrial stuff. Use it in vivariums and stuff, like you can see some there and some there, just attached to bits of, well I say attached, just stuck on to, pushed in gaps on there, lava rock. Um, then we're on to some just standard carpet moss for vivariums. Now I don't know how this is going to do, this is an experiment, but at the minute it seems to be holding up alright, oh, that's it there. Come round here a bit, there's a, another rock full of... Uh, cushion moss and then if we come out a bit there is carpet moss sort of just all over this wood so I'm hoping it, it does what it's got <laughs> it sorts its stuff out I say there's reeds uh, the sorry the rushes or say a rush I think it's called all down the back there, there's a few because they grow big I'll have to cut them back I already know I will but I just wanted some of what is a marginal and it can be pushed in, you know, you can have the crown of the plant about 20 centimetres underwater or no centimetres, you know, it can be at the waterline. So that was real easy to do. I have tried something else in there already which failed and we'll talk about that in a sec. But yeah, so there's a few of these rushes coming through. You can see a bit of cable there when I was, I've dug it up. I'm going to uh, put some more stones over the top of that. Um, and then if we come round here, oh, we'll look through there, there is more of the cushion moss, more of the cushion moss and more Porthos or Devil's Ivy, however you want to talk about it. But all in all, it's going pretty well. All my little Anubiuses have uh, come on well, I'm going to try and show you that. But you can see there are, uh, I say you can see, hopefully you can see the roots coming off and attaching to the rock properly. Well, there's loads of it. I've added the odd, the bit of a Java fern in there, a tiny one in that crack where these uh, Anubiuses are. Loads of little Anubius nanas, nana bonsai. And then down here, 
we have some more cello wood, some more catapa leaves and we've got that piece of wood that's got just random loads of moss on it just tarred on any old owl because once you get it on it'll spread and then you cut it to how you want it and a nice little nano bonsai but yeah I am liking the tank a lot still sorry I've got stuff in the way because I'm always messing about but yeah it's looking good in my opinion I won't say it's, it's not like real nice but it, it'll, it'll do me I do quite like it I'm really liking the shrimps at the minute so there's just loads of action in here look there's there's wiggly worms and goldfish has been langers all over. Ah, this cuts in quite nice. These here are Lud Ludwigia Rippens, I think. I tried them as a marginal, because they do grow and the tops stick out of water, so I tried to bury them reasonably deep to get them to grow. And for a little amount of time, they did. But after a while, oh, look at them digging. Don't you dig them plants up, you titties. Oh, God. But yeah, so, no, oh look, they think there's food over there, they're making all the fish believe there's stuff happening. Idiots. But yeah, so I, what I did was, with the rest of them, because I bought too many as I normally do, I put them in here, to add to the plants in this tank. So, fathead there, keeps digging them up. Well, it's his job, he's a fathead, isn't he? Look how fat his head is. Yeah. He's got, he's the brain, isn't he? Look, it's all brain, that. He's got zero brains. And yeah, over there I've got a bit of action. But anyway. <laughs> no. Trying to rive up. You can't get under them stones. The littler one goes under the stones all the time, but the big one just doesn't seem to be able to handle it. <laughs> He's just a langer. So anyway, we're back in here. So yeah, I've got quite a few shrimp. I've put, I think, how many have I put in? I've put about ten or 12, sorry we're going back now, uh, proper cherries in, just, just, I say proper cherries, just cherries, red cherries, and then off our kid, off me brother, I put a random, I, got, I went into his wild tank where there's just, there's, there's everything, there's, there's all types of shrimp in there, all different colours, and they've all just interbred and there's madness, you know, he's got like weird luminous yellow ones and green ones and weird stripey things. <laughs> And just some clear brown ones and stuff like that, you know, it's weird. But, um, so I've got some of them in as well, just to, uh, but there was real, a lot of little ones, and then that one you, uh, there's a couple that, when I said there's a shrimp and it swam across at the, swam across at the beginning, there's a few like that. In fact, I don't know why I'm talking Jarvis there, look, oh, you dick. Oh, uh, he's gone under that. He's, he's, a, he's a dick. <laughs> but yeah, so I've got a few little taters in there. There's four in there. Oh, there he comes, there he comes, yeah, and a few just like that, which are uh, just weird hybrids of uh, our kids' wild ride, but I quite like him, like, he's a lot of fun. Is it scuttle? Do some scuttling. But yeah, so, but yeah, what I'm getting at is the tank's coming along, I've put some extra stuff in, and I like it a lot. It's just the light's quite bright on it at the minute because I've got double light. <laughs> but only so that that, that little one, goes sort of around the back a little bit just for now. Just until they breach. You know, hopefully they'll grow up and breach that. <laughs> but I like all this weird uh, moss everywhere. But I quite like that just on the stones. You know what I mean? This stuff here. The only problem is on my videos, my colours never come out quite right. And I can't be bothered to deal with post-production. Well, I think this is. <laughs> Far too lazy for that. Got hanging about to do and stuff like that. But yeah, so this is going alright. But I say it was a bit sad when I put it on. It had, you know, there's the bits what I've got are greener. There. And sort of... Oh, let me see some in there. A bit the green. That um, is just started doing well since it's going on. It was all sort of this nasty brown when it first went in. It's been in a, about a week. But yeah, as you can hopefully see, some of this is actually coming on. So I'm hoping it's going to do all right. And then as I say, I've got me aquatic moss there and in there, which is growing down up. Well, it's everywhere, the aquatic moss. And then just in here, in this little cavey bit down there, 
when it gets dark there's some more cushion and there's some cheeky more Anubias but yeah so that's that's how it's going at the time be for the time being um, the back section's doing well not planning on anything being up there but just like the lock so anyway thanks for watching bye